a certain amount of struggle is inevitable i mean life gets hard sometimes likewise relationships get hard sometimes and i think sometimes we fight so much against the struggle that we actually make things worse for ourselves we fight against our reality you know and i talk quite a bit about a concept called radical acceptance and that's basically accepting life on life's terms as opposed to assuming that you're owed a certain type of life or that life should play out a certain way and the more we can roll with this the more we can accept the fact that things aren't always going to turn out exactly the way we would have liked the more at peace we're going to be the less we're struggling against the tide because we don't sit well with not knowing or not being in control or not being able to change our reality we like to think oh you know if I just fight with this and if I just think this differently then things will be somehow differently or the past won't have happened or I can control what happens in the future now unfortunately when we do this all we do is cause ourselves greater anxiety because we're fighting against what already is or we're fighting to exert control over something over which we never had control to begin with and as I said this is a continuous state of agitation there's no way you can be at peace when you're trying to create something different out of what already is you know you're basically fighting against against fact and that is a horrible state to be in however sitting with acceptance sitting with tolerating things the way that they are as opposed to how you would have liked them to be giving up the hope that the past could have been any different you know and that takes a lot of acceptance forgiveness surrender and letting go and sometimes I feel we think that surrendering and letting go is equivalent of giving up and it's not it's basically allowing yourself peace it's basically acknowledging the fact that the only thing you can do differently is what you do differently going forward that you can change the past and that you cannot change what's happening in the moment bar your own internal experience you know and the more we focus on external things the more upset we're going to get the more we focus on trying to tolerate the internal side of things and trying to regulate our internal experience, which is, you know, our felt sense, our emotions, um, our thoughts and the actions that we feel like following through with, the more we're going to be at peace because we're not fighting against something over which we have no control. And as I said, that's not something that sits very easy with us. We like to think that certain things are just written in stone we like certainty we like uh, security we like feeling safe we like feeling that we can control things in life and letting that go can be a real spiritual practice it can be really um, humbling and it really involves going inside and searching for why you need such a sense of control you know what it is that is irking you about your external experience what is it that relationships are bringing up in you that is causing you such stress and upset and generally you'll find that once you rumble with all of these things a lot of what is actually causing you pain is the story that you are applying to your feelings to your initial reactions to what it it is that you interpret in the world you know we tend to um, get the initial reaction and then we add to it add to it add to it causing ourselves pain and suffering causing ourselves anxiety and the more we can bring ourselves out of our heads into our hearts and rationalize what it is that we're actually feeling truly experience it listen to our hearts listen to our gut know what it is that's that it's telling us and not listen to you know the crazy bullshit stories that go round and round in our heads the better off we're going to be and the way we do this is by first of all recognizing ourselves fully knowing our true selves recognizing um, the things that trigger us recognizing what causes us pain what causes us um, irritation what causes us frustration and being able to challenge that being able to make peace with that being able to accept it being able to sit with the fact that you have weaknesses and you have flaws 
us and they're not a reflection of you as a person they're just part of your upbringing they're part of the tapestry of who you are and for you to recognize them meet them compassionately but not let them rule your thoughts not let them rule the way in which you engage with the world is so important and it is totally possible it's done through meditation journaling and um, talk therapy getting in touch with your physical experience being able to tolerate your somatic experience and all of these techniques are like little tools in a toolbox you just build them up and you're able to call on them and utilize them when you're struggling or when the going gets tough or when you find yourself trying to exert control or fighting against your reality you know you're able to be like ah oh, what's actually going on here uh, what can I do to make things a little bit easier on myself so that I'm not taking things so personally and I don't feel so distressed and that's what it's all about I mean literally you can only secure contentment and peace of mind moment by moment it's not a permanent state it's something that you have to continually work on and the more tools that you have available to you the more insight that you have the more awareness that you have uh, the more likely you are to manage maintain a, a state of equanimity you know not to be kind of fleeting from uh, feeling upset one minute to top of the world the next and god knows i know that experience but you know having a more kind of sedate flat line um peace and calmness about you that you know radiates to you and towards other people because ultimately the calmer you are the more centered and grounded you are the more you're going to attract the right people into your life the more capable you are going to be of connecting healthily in your relationships in your interactions with your kids with your colleagues and in your interactions with yourself and that's what it's all about it's all about quietening the mind so that you can open the heart and connect with others if you would like to work a little bit on becoming more accepting on being more in touch with your emotional experience get in touch with me on my website it's fundamental dot